Hi you guys, this is Lauren. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'm actually doing one of my best friend's hair in this video. Her name's Julie and um, she also does hair and I met her at hair school and uh, we've been friends ever since and she also does amazing hair so please check out her Instagram. It's at hair by Miss JG on Instagram. So um, I actually did her balayage probably about a year ago, so a really long time ago. She had a couple base colors done in between. So the purpose of today is I really want to kind of take out some of the orange and then get get rid of some of those bands and then also add some brightness around the face and then have it kind of break up that natural color and break up some of those bands too. So right here I'm mixing uh, Wella Free Lights and 40 Volume. Again, it's a clay lightener and it spreads really, really nicely and that is why I like to use it. Uh, with clay lightener, you don't actually need to use anything to separate it. it. It will separate itself, it kind of conceals itself within its little environment and it doesn't bleed or anything. So you don't really need to put any foils or saran wrap. But I do anyway just for the purpose of conducting heat to help it process, especially for darker hair. So um, it's not necessary, but on darker hair I do do it because I like to um, make sure that it's processing. Um, what, so here I'm just balayaging. I mean, I'm taking really fine, small sections because again, dark hair, I want to make sure I fully saturate so I'm not getting um, partial lift, I'm getting complete lift. And that way it takes out a lot of the orange. Uh, sometimes I do a backstroke that you see, um, and the reason I do that is because I could blend really well and also get a lot of product on those tiny, tiny little strands. So that way they're blended, but they're also lifting a lot. Because a lot of times when I was doing balayage when I first started, I noticed that towards the roots and towards the top of the balayage, it doesn't lift as much because it's not as much product. So that way when I do that backstroke, I'm getting a lot of product on really tiny pieces so it's still blended. So now I am moving on to um, another formula, and I always do either B3 or Olaplex. I like B3 because you don't have to bump up the developer, especially in dark hair, that's so important to me. Um, so right here I'm using just regular Wella Blondor and 30 volume. So I'm going down developer because I'm processing in um, fully saturated tiny foils. So I know that that's going to process quicker, so that's why I do um, a lower developer for that. Then I did the balayage. So now I'm taking out um, all the foils and we process it to about a yellow. And so I'll be doing some color melting, but first we're going to rinse all this out and then we'll start doing the color melting on wet hair.
So some of my formulas for the color melting are um, 4N, and then this is Kenra Demi Permanent. And then I also add um, a gold and then a little bit of a violet kicker. And that's for the root shade. And then for the ends, I did a 9 PV and I added some clear and also a 9 natural. So now I'm going to be doing a soft textured lived in haircut on Julie and um, I'm bringing the first section down and I point cut the ends. Um, once I point cut the ends then I will take small sections, twist them and then slide cut the ends and that way it gives it a nice little kind of razored textured feel but it's a lot less damaging on the hair. And this is the final look, you guys. Thank you so much for your support, and thank you for watching. You can find me on Instagram at Lauren Francis Hair. Thank you.